trust, and then you just fucking fuck you over. Can't even talk about what really is pissing me off the most out of all this. Can't even talk about it. Because if I did, first of all, people would go, well, that's fine, you deserve it because you're a douche. And if I. And it wouldn't matter. Fucking ridiculous. <sighs> no, my girlfriend didn't leave me. I have a humongous dick and I'm good looking and I make decent money. Of course she didn't fucking leave me. I swear there's like still 3,000 people in here and there's no fucking way 3,000 people should be in here watching me shoot back and forth on a wall. Like I just waiting for me to explode so they can be like, aha, hero loses the shit, what a douche. Well, I'm gonna go get some health pots. I want to know where the fuck the mushroom biome is. God fucking damn it. Let me find a mushroom biome so I can get upgraded health pots. For motherfucking sake, give me upgraded health pots. I just want some fucking mushrooms in the mushroom biome. And I went all the way to here. There's no mushroom biome. All the way across the surface here, no mushroom biome. There's probably two floating islands up here. You know what? I am fucking awesome. I'm sorry I didn't have a great stream. I'm sorry I've had audio issues. I'm probably the only fucking reason there is any uh, early access live streaming going on. Uh, before I contacted uh, Scenix, uh, they were gonna not do it this year because they were under such a crush, crush deadline. So you know, fuck, you know, but will I get any credit for that? Fuck no, of course not. Of course not. And the people that are streaming, will I get any credit for that? Of course not. Of course not. Of course not. And Penguin's stream went really well. I rehosted 5,000 people to him, and he went from 2,600 viewers to 8,000. Uh, or not 8,000, 6,700 or something like that, because not everyone stayed. So his stream went really well. But everyone wants to remember that my stream fucking sucked. Okay, my stream did suck yesterday. Had tons of issues. I'm still having audio issues today. I tried un un uninstalling a bunch of drivers. What the fuck's that matter? Uh, doesn't matter if uh, I rehosted Peg one because I was like, okay, well my shit's not working. Here, go check this other guy out. I could have sat there like an ass and just kept 5,000 people here, and I could have just, uh, I could have just, I just, I don't know what I could have done. I could have just been collecting donations. I made like $200 yesterday. I could have just kept 5,000 people in there 
just checking out my stream. No, because it wasn't about the money. So I had Penguin rehost, you know, because I wanted to rehost him. We had talked previously, and uh, we'd both talked about um, probably hosting each other, and uh, I just was going to do a 12 hour stream, and instead it was a 4 hour stream, and I rehosted Penguin because. I wanted to help out the community. I wanted people to actually enjoy their time. This fucking sucks. But now I gotta see the, like one of the most upvoted Reddit posts on just hmm whatever. Just whatever. And I'm not supposed to be pissed about this. I'm not even allowed to be pissed. That's the fucked up part about all this. And you guys don't even know what's really pissing me off. Just whatever. When are you streaming next? When are you streaming? I know you got offline. Why are you all still here? Just waiting for me to explode or some shit. It's fine. People have legitimate concerns. They're pissed off about silly shit I did three years ago. Taught me a lesson, that's for sure. Your reputation sticks with you forever. I did a hundred good things and three bad things. I did a thousand good things. Three bad things. People were pissed off about. One of them was, you know what, fine. I will, I will just, just unleash a whole load of what happened. I don't ever talk about this stuff. Someone get your screen recording software on. 
So you can go have a million drama cakes for this crap. So what caused a lot of the community rift between me and Terraria Online. Right? I made this project called the Reborn Mod. I made it. I made it. No one else. It was mine. My project. I made it. I paid for our servers. I paid for all the stuff that we made. I paid over a thousand dollars for all the different stuff on the mod. It was supposed to be a free, donation-free project. People suddenly started wanting to add money to the donate to donations. At the time, I thought I was really altruistic, and I thought, no. Money, yuck. Remember I used to stream and I'd never take any donations. I'd never play any ads three years ago. I used to think, you know, money, you don't do that. You know, that seems very sellout-ish. So I would, when people wanted to add donation to the Reborn mod, I said no. And when they wouldn't budge, we split the project. I threatened to sue them into the fucking ground if they uh, if they took their the work that they did on my project and tried to use it in another project. And uh, that pissed people off because they got hit with a huge fucking brick that was reality that you can't work on somebody else's work, uh, somebody else's project. You can't join a team and then just walk away and all the work's yours. The work is, uh, that's not how it works. So I took about 10 coders in the community and I just fucking showed them reality, which is that you can't, you can't do work on people's projects and then... Uh, and then just walk away with, and then say, oh, well, the work that I did on this is mine. It's not how it works. Uh, they all agreed at the start of the project that it would be for donation free. And when that came up, I lost my, my junk. Uh, my jimmies got rustled. So I got 10 really mad people who wanted more than $500. I offered something silly like $500 a person. A person, I think, was my offer uh, in, to keep donations off of the mod. So that would have been something like $5,000 plus the cost that I put into the mod, 6000 bucks. So I don't, uh, so I don't do that. I don't, um, I, I don't, they don't take it. They don't want it. Some people didn't want it. Some people did want it, actually. Some people told me they wanted the money. Uh, but we couldn't come to an agreement between the whole group, so the entire group got fucking split. And then after it split, right, they started to do this stupid ass mod project called Teapot. Well, guess what? Teapot went in the toilet pot and uh, got flushed down the toilet. Why? Because greedy people who want to do what they want to do and they're always trying to dick people out of money and they always want to scam the community and they want to add huge donation links to mods and all that stupid stuff. Uh, I didn't like any of it, right? So, <laughs> huh, coming from a guy three years later who has a mod with a don donation link in it, right? Well, here's the thing. Is that's why I said I was. I used to be altruistic and gullible about how things worked. So they were right. We should have added a donation link. They wouldn't have made shit, right? The most played mod in the world for Terraria ever, not server mod like T-Shock, just straight up mod, is the Gamiki mod that I made, right? So that mod's the most played mod ever in the history of Terraria, and 6% of all players played it this last patch. 6% of every single player, every single day on PC played that game, or played that mod, right? That's an insane amount of numbers. Do you know how much, how many donations that mod made with a little sticker on the side of it? Let me tell you. $260. Now why did I have a donation thing? Why did I change my mind after I, I didn't want any of that stuff? I'll tell you exactly why. I, okay, so $260. I'll tell you exactly why. Because I spent $7,000 developing that community mod. $7,000 of my own money to develop the community mod. Why? Because all the modding in the community is just fucking garbage. They take fucking two months to patch any of their shit, and no one can do anything. By the time they patch any of their, their work, they're gone. Or all the good modders in our community end up getting hired by the developers to work on the game. That's exactly what happens. So we have no good modders in the community, so I hired somebody to do the work for the mod. Okay, so that's why. $6,500 is what I spent. It's almost, uh, it's more than what I offered to spend on the original Reborn mod to not keep donation links. I took almost all my money from YouTube that I'd ever made and was willing to put it all into the Reborn mod, 
but they didn't want the money, so they wanted donation links. And I told them to shove it up their fucking asses. And none of them like it. And now they all talk shit. Oh, here's a douchebag. And, and they come into every thread on Trari Online. And they talk shit all the fucking time about the stuff that I did. Oh, yeah, he just threatened to sue us. No fucking duh, I threatened to shoot, sue you. You went to try and take project that I built, that I assembled every single person on the team. I interviewed every single person on the team before they even were allowed to join. One of the prerequisite questions was that they weren't allowed, they didn't want to make any money out of the project, and they didn't want to add any donation links, and that they would be donating their work for free. For free. All of them agreed that, every single person. So, what did I do wrong? I was altruistic. I, d I thought that we should do something nice for the community because we owed the community. We owed the community for uh, checking out our mods and checking out our channels. And I, and at the time, when I started this project, I, I don't even think I was partnered yet. Or maybe I'd just gotten partnered on YouTube. I'd been doing YouTube till like 100,000 subscribers without a single a dime. Because YouTube wouldn't part me, partner me at like 80,000. And then it took like 20,000 more subscribers before. But I didn't even try to get partnered right out of the gate. It was it was took a forever before I even tried to make money off YouTube. So these people were pissed. Because I told them I'm going to sue them. So, modders are a huge part of the community. They sit in all the chats. They hang out with all the people. They're part of the dev team now, some of them. Not all of them are bad guys. <laughs> yeah, Hirai is a good guy. But um, these people are huge staples in the community. So, what do they do? They sit around talking about Hero just a shithead. He, he was going to sue me one time. Yeah, I was going to sue them. If they stole the work from our project because they wanted donation buttons on their shit. So, there. That's what happened. And I do, you know what? I don't feel bad. I feel like I'm stupid. Like, I should have just let them have their donation buttons. The most successful mod in the history of all of Terraria got $260 in donations. $260. So, people are really pissed off at me about that. You know? Just whatever. You know, how can you be pissed off about that? Ridiculous. Second thing, right? The wiki. I controlled the wiki, the Terraria.wikia, for a really, really long time. Like, uh, like almost seven months or something like that. And the reason I got control of the wiki is really simple, right? Okay? People like... I'm not going to name the names of the shitty channels that do this, but they'll just literally have an inventory editor open, right? They'll change, they'll edit their inventory, and they'll bring up the item, and they'll start recording, and they'll go, Hey guys, th this is how it would look, right? This is how it would look. Hey guys, this is the Menacing Shield of Cthulhu. It does 31 damage, it's got 4% critical strike chance, very strong knockback, equipable 2 defense, allows the player to dash into an enemy, double tap in a direction, 4% damage expert. Uh, this is the item. It's new in 1.3. Okay, subscribe, check out my channel, like my Tumblr, suck my ding dong, and that's the end of their video. That's it. That's what their whole video is. And you know what? I make jokes about how my videos are that way, but they're not actually that way, right? Some people are really pissed off that I'll make videos that I have no fucking clue what's going on. Like, there's a video called the Thorn Chakram. Look it up, right? Or no, not Thorn Chakram. Light Disc. Look up the Light Disc video. Look it up, right? So there's a Light Disc video. And the craziest thing about this light disc video, I had no fucking clue what the light disc dug did. I thought it was a sucky weapon because it didn't stack. I didn't know it stacked. So I make this video, and I still have it up because I think you shouldn't hide from the shit you fucked up. I don't think you should delete things and pretend they never happened. I, I know when I fuck up that I should say I fucked up, right? So I left that video up. And you know how many fucking times it gets linked in every thread, every discussion about me? The light disc video comes up. Because I was really obnoxious about, this is a dumbass weapon. Well, turns out, it's an amazing weapon. It's a really, really good weapon. It's positioned really well. You just have to stack, you just have to stack uh, the light discs. I had no clue. But here's the thing. If I just inventory edited a million light discs, I would know I would know that, right? But I have to get I, I, I got an item legitimately because I was playing with it. So sometimes I'm wrong because I haven't learned every goddamn thing about a patch yet. So people give me shit endlessly about these videos where I don't know something in the video. Whoa, newsflash, buddy! Like that's what the whole thing is about. I just learned 
that you can dash into these people. It says allows player to dash into the enemy. It doesn't say that you're going to be, does it say anywhere that you're going to be invulnerable when you dash into them? No, right? But you could miss that easily, right? You could just think it's a double, it's a dashing mechanic. But if you actually run into an enemy, you're not going to take any damage. Look, 320 health. Look, no damage. But it would take a lot of playing and experience. And a new patch comes out. And people want to see new videos. They want to know what the items do. So I'm not going to be able to say to you, I'm not going to be able to say to you, I know every single thing about everything. Sometimes I fucking fuck up. I make a shit video sometimes. For fuck's sake, it just happens. It's not the end of the world. If you told every YouTuber who does Troy tutorials that they've never made a mistake on any video, you're not going to find one. There's going to be a lot of people who've made a lot of mistakes. And then even when you find the videos who are really high quality, they produce videos at a slower rate so that they can check out all the facts, they can do their nice editing, and it just takes a lot longer to do something like that. So I get all this shit to go kill myself over a video that I fucked up. You know? And then, you know, so I, I just get the whole day just endless, endlessly getting trashed, right? The whole reason we're doing this event is because I kept talking to Whitney about how it would be good, how we could promote the Terrari community, and we are. We're doing lots of good stuff. I help promote a ton of smaller channels. I, I've done tons of stuff to help grow the community, but because I sue, I would threaten to sue some modders, I get endless crap. Why? Because they were being greedy. Okay, so tell me how that logic works out at all. They were being greedy, I threatened to sue them because they were trying to take their work and go make their own little thing when it was from another project and they wanted to add donate buttons. I don't care. I don't care. I'm not wrong there, right? And then my videos. Okay, so sometimes videos are wrong. So I had control of the wiki, right? So I had control of the wiki and uh, people kept uploading these stupid videos where they just stood there, they read an item off of, they read the, basically the, let me read the tooltip for this item. Okay, subscribe to my channel. Have a nice day. And I have some videos like that. Because the items are literally that pointless or I couldn't figure out the purpose for them or I didn't know what they are. And I was just like, I I don't know what this is. I got it doing this. And th there are some like that. But there are literally channels that that's all they do. They have 2,000 Terraria videos covering every single video. Every single item. And they just crush it. They crush it. They're so cool with their shit videos, and they endlessly uploaded them to the wiki, right? So I said, hey, to the guy who ran the wiki, I said, this sucks. Why don't I start doing videos? I was already a YouTuber. I was already successful on YouTube. I had 30,000 subscribers, and I said, I could start doing Terraria videos. And now I was making StarCraft videos, but I was just playing Terraria for fun, and I was like, why don't why don't I start making them? I'll, I'll, I'll make good quality videos. He said, sure. And then he gave me control of the wiki. I started making videos. And then after a while, right, I just never let anyone else make videos because all their videos were just horrible money-grabbing videos. But then there became a point when I got stupid, when I just, I thought, well... I guess I got super cocky and I thought that my videos were better than everybody else's, which is easy to happen to somebody. It was stupid, it was cocky, and I just had this stupid opinion that my videos belonged there because I had, I don't know, I had put 3,000 edits into the wiki, I had cleaned it all up, I had done everything to make the wiki successful, I mean it was a complete pile of shit before I got there that was nothing but spam. I don't know, I don't know, I guess felt like I deserved to control the wiki I controlled. So people were pissed off about that. And you know what? I still don't feel completely wrong or right about that. I feel like, yeah, I was a little bit right because I did all the work to make it successful. One time, there was so much spam on the wiki, Wikia stepped in and shut the editing down on the wiki. They just shut it off. They said no more editing, right? So for an entire Terraria patch, there's an entire patch where I did every single thing on the wiki. Every single edit. There was not a single person who did another edit on the entire for an entire patch for several days. Because Wikia locked us down right as a patch started, like right a day before a patch because there was so much spam. Not to mention that that spam was coming from a, a competing company who was trying to destroy the wiki out of 
you know, spite and trying to get money. So they were trying to destroy the wiki. So I spent several days nonstop editing. This was like way before I got, you know, uh, super big with YouTube, before I had 100,000 subscribers. I was just trying to make the wiki successful, trying to help the wiki be alive. Be alive. So I get shit because I still wanted my videos, my videos on the wiki. Okay, okay, cool. I wanted my videos on the wiki. Sorry, that pisses a lot of people off. Okay, well, my videos were a lot better than a lot of other videos. And towards the end, maybe I was delusional to think that I deserved it somehow after all the work I had done to preserve it and keep it alive and successful and how I had endlessly promoted it from my YouTube channel. And uh, so I get shit about these three things these three things right there's a fourth thing but it's so fucking stupid it doesn't make any fucking sense there was a uh, I did a speed run on the Queen Bee I stomped uh, Yermir's record I just demolished his record I shit all over it it was the best uh, Queen Bee speed run and it's been beaten since somebody else beat it I dumpstered his uh, his record and a lot of people will say oh no you cheated uh, because I had the gaming key mod running and I we had some tools that allow you to move NPCs around so they were like oh this is all messed up and and I was just basically testing a bunch of tools in the Gamiki mod, and I forgot to switch over to a different build. And so people were like, oh, I see the Gamiki mod's running, and this is doing that, and this, you must have cheated, ha 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 ha. No, dude. But I have two speedruns ever. I have two speedruns ever. I, I don't sit around, not even a speedrunner. I don't, don't even know why people even think that's noteworthy. So I get all this crap because people... Uh, assume the worst in me because I didn't want to take money for a mod and I saved a wiki and then thought my videos deserved to be up there it was pretty delusional I felt you know I looking back I see there were a lot of other good videos that deserve to be up in places where mine shouldn't be and then the third thing you know I I make shit videos sometimes sometimes I just don't know where shit's supposed to go I don't know that they're like to stack you know, I made the video before anyone else had ever even got the item. I, I found it. I was like, whoa, holy shit, I found a light disc. It looks like another boomerang. I somehow missed the fact that they stack. So I have to hear about that all the time. And then people accuse me of cheating uh, because I'm not very, uh, I'm very open about the fact that I will inventory edit things. I've done 3,000 hours of Terraria. I'm not going to go mine some dirt if I need some dirt, you know. It's ridiculous. I've done so many hours in this game. Yes, I'll, I'll cheat. I'll cheat out my ass. I'll cheat all the time. Not on a new patch. Not on a brand new patch on items I've never gotten. But will I? Will I do it on uh, a, a, a patch that I've played 200 hours of, and I don't want to go log into a different, a different world? Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna. So now today. I've got a lot of people who just want to see me fail because they're pissed off that I'm successful. That I'm very successful on YouTube. I have the largest Terraria channel on YouTube. There are other ta channels that do Terraria, but they're, they're it's an afterthought. You know, they're Minecraft YouTubers, and then they also do Terraria or something to that effect. 90% of my content is Terraria related. I'm the biggest Terraria YouTuber. People hate the fact that this guy who threatened to sue the mod community who controlled the wiki, that must be why he's successful. I haven't controlled the wiki in years, and I'm still the biggest channel and still growing the fastest. You know what? When this all happened, right, the channels that were near me were only like 40,000 subscribers behind me. Now there are 200,000 subscribers behind me when I didn't control the wiki. In that time span, the gap has grown. It's not went down. Heroes.com ready T for teen. And that's all there is to it. And so I'm getting all this shit because I had a bad stream yesterday. And then here's the other thing. So why am I so pissed off today? Well this one this one sucks. This one sucks a lot. You know what? This one is this one's really hard. So I worked to make sure that the streaming event went up. I worked really hard to make sure this streaming event went up. 
I've I, I always have projects and people are always like, oh well, Hero's about money or he's always this working dude. It's true, I am. I'm always about working. If I don't think something's going to benefit my future, then I usually don't do it. And it's different than I used to be, but I got tired of getting fucked over by people. So I changed how I was. And, you know, a couple years ago, I would have said to you, taking money on the mod is stupid. It's That's horrible. Don't do that, right? But now, uh, now I can't, um, now I can't do this. And then look at this. I get people logging in with hero get over yourself usernames. I mean, this is the type of shit I had to deal with. And you know what? Oh, boo-hoo, go cry yourself to sleep with all your money. I guess, I guess, yeah, you're right. What can I argue about that? That I make money on YouTube, so I guess, I guess, I'm, I guess I just have to hear thousands of people tell me to go fucking kill myself today. Because what? Because oh, I had audio issues, or the guy I was gonna Skype with, his Skype for some reason uh, wasn't being picked up by my mic. I don't know what's going on. I got a bug with my audio. I have no idea what's going on with it. And then. Uh, this new build, it doesn't work like the old build. It's not being recognized by OBS the same way. I'm having to capture the window. Game capture is not working, and it's not resizing correctly. You know, so I had a ton of issues that other people, I guess, aren't having on their systems. And uh, all this, all this really hurts. It, it only hurts. You know, I would not even be agitated about today if one simple thing didn't happen. One simple thing. It's frustrating. It's frustrating. It's really frustrating. You know, and hearing all that, you know, there's going to be thousands of people here. Thousands of people here who think to themselves, oh, yeah, whatever, you're full of shit. You're full of shit. You know, this is all your one sided story. No. This is all the truth, and I left out all the bad details and good details and just gave you the facts. It's not good or bad. That's just the facts of what happened. It's not someone's right or wrong. You know, these are just the events that cons that happened. And, um... God, this is just so frustrating. Just so goddamn frustrating. And, you know... Why I'm so agitated today, it's really hard because I can barely even talk about this. I don't even know how to uh, uh, approach this subject. Maybe it should be done in private. Should be done in private. Definitely should be done in private. Miserable day. And then I have to see the top voted post on Reddit that's just total bullshit. They have this comment in there about how I said the developers of Terraria are artistic. What the hell are they talking about? I've never said anything, anything. Like one of the top comments in there, I've never said anything negative about the developers. Who the hell thinks that the that I could get away with something like that? I could not get away with saying that to the devel the developers of the game. Do you do you know like they would just smite my ass so fucking hard and so fast? I don't even know what you're talking about. They would demolish me. I don't know I don't know what you're talking about. I would never insult them. First out of respect because I care about both them and for all you you smart asses I've met them in real life many of you don't even know them and you're just talking about like things like you like I would never insult them I've never insult them and that that's one of the top voted comments that I call them autistic what are you talking about just ah, frustrating frustrating and then another stupid thing I get shit about is when Red said he was quitting Terraria uh, a few months later I or maybe a month I don't know I have no idea what the time frame was I said a while later I said I think I'm gonna step down from playing Terraria there's gonna be no more new content uh, I'm gonna focus on more things in my life I'm a tutorial guy I cover new things with tutorials so now I have to hear all the time 
I now I have to hear it all the time about how <laughs> I uh how I I quit Terraria and I just came back for the views. No, I I do tutorials. That's what my whole channel is built around. If there's no new items, what am I gonna do? So I started doing let's plays because people kept begging me to post videos. So what am I supposed to do? You know. So and then I have to hear about oh you're only back for the money. You <laughs> not even though I streamed, I was the only streamer for Terraria years ago that was really any size. I was the only guy really streaming it, and and uh, I never asked for money, and I never had a donation link, and I never played ads, you know, but things change now, you know? I work, like, 80 hours a week, and if I'm going to do all this Terraria stuff, like, I got to get some money because I have bills I have to pay. If I'm going to do this full-time, it's really hard to do... YouTube full time. I get you get to a certain point where you say, okay, well, this is much I could make at a real job, but you work twice as much. Like you have to work twice as much at a YouTube job than you do a real job. And I know that sounds like crazy because you only post two videos a day, but it's like these streaming events and these networking with people and trying to set up community events and you know. And you know, here's another thing, right? I have a contest that I'm supposed to be starting tomorrow that I'm probably just gonna shovel into the fucking dirt. The developers of the game said that they would match a thousand dollars, up to a thousand dollars for me, of if any I amount. Oh, get out of here! I don't even care about this. Go away. Buy you an exotic pet. Dude, I don't even care about this. Get off this. Stop donating stuff. I'm just going to close it. Listen, that's not even what that's... Don't even... I don't even care about your donations. I don't want to do donations. And I know you're trying to say something nice to me, but... Listen to this, right? Listen. I have an event. I always pour money into things for the community. People have no idea. It's like, oh yeah, well you're just so all about the money. Dude, I spend, I've spend. i spent $20,000 at the minimum on community events, tools, mods, projects. $20,000 at the minimum. And you go, no way. Yes fucking way. Yes fucking way. When I tried to build the Reborn mod, I spent all the money. When I built the Game Geek mod, I funded that shit. I spent all the money to build that mod, right? I spent all of that, right? Now I'm trying to spend this little project so that I can do a uh, a build contest where I put a thousand dollars in and, and uh, you build an adventure map and the Terraria developer said that they would match the thousand dollars and the purpose behind it would be that we would build a lot of maps so the community would have maps to play. It was not some secret agenda where you guys are going to advertise for me or do anything. I just wanted more maps. I want to play maps myself. I, I played the Zelda Adventure map and I said, that sounds, you know, it'd be sound really good if we could get a ton of maps going uh, built. And I felt like a $2,000 total prize would probably get a lot of people involved in map building. And, um... But now I can't do it. You know why? Ah, uh, he's just trying to make up for being a douchebag. That's why he's doing it, right? That must be why he's doing it. He's just making up for being a douchebag. That's the only reason he's donating any money. Even though I worked on this weeks ago. Even though the only reason we're probably streaming right now is because I kept trying to promote it to Whitney that we would promote 1.3. And we did. We did. We promoted lots of 1.3. People are super hyped. Hyped than they've ever been for any patch ever before. So I did all that work, tried to make sure our stream was going on. I mean, I made a whole document about Steam integration. Listen, I made a whole document about Steam integration. You guys don't think I'm, I'm serious? Here, I'll show you. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pull it up. I'll pull it up. You guys want to see a doc? Docs. Google Docs. I'll show you a document. Right? Let me pull this up. Google Docs. Gmail. What is this? No, I don't want this. I want Docs. Docs. I'm going to pull it up. I'll show you guys what it is. This is ridiculous. Like, I've been pushing for community features. I've been pushing for community events. All I get is shit about three things. Oh, well, you tried to sue the Reborn mod guys because they tried to steal their work and go make a separate project and they feel like they're entitled to their work that they agreed to do on a team project that wasn't really their work. It was the team's work and they wanted money. So people are pissed off about that. 
the wiki that I saved that was going to be completely ruined. Oh, I wanted to put my videos on there. Yeah, I fucking did. I did. I wanted to put my videos. I'm sorry if that's disillusioned or delusional. Um, you know, it's just... It's ridiculous. I can't even find it. I don't even know where it's at. Basically, I made a doc about how we as a community needed, really truly needed, uh, we needed, uh, we needed tools, Steam integration. We needed the ability, we really, really needed the ability to be able to log in, um, log in to Steam and to connect with players. I have to find this fucking document. Give me a second. Um, I sent it to Andrew forever ago. Let me see here. Um, uh, bugs, videos, NDA. Please. Okay, it was titled "Please Consider Making This Change Red." It was sent on March first of 2014. It was sent before 1.2 went out. So I, I made this doc, right? And I can't. I'm not gonna save it. I'm just gonna download the doc because I can't. Uh, I'm going to open up the print window. You know, and I made this doc. Okay. You know what? And here's, and this is, this never, this never touches the public. People don't know about the things that I'm trying to do to help the community. Here, I'll show you. It's ridiculous that I get all the shit that I get. It's ridiculous. And I'm tired of acting like some nice guy. So here, okay. Uh, cancel. Uh, okay. Let me let me minimize this though, because I want to make sure. I want to make sure there's nothing. In here that I shouldn't. Link or. Let me see here. I'm gonna make sure anything else I didn't talk about anything. Okay. Here we go. So I'm just going to do this, right? Sent, right? It says, hi, Red and Scenix. It says, right now, the problem with the game is that people cannot play with strangers. I believe the game's growth is being stunted by a uh, multiplayer in one simple way, and I believe it's fixable with a little bit of effort. What I'm proposing is enable Steam authentication for users, blah, blah, blah. Um, problems with T-Shock. People are using a, an outdated mod, and <sighs> I get it. You're just... I am, I'm not even going to go into this because I don't even know what the stuff I might say. <laughs> I do I do say some stuff that I don't want in here to be public. I insult some people about way two, two pages down. <laughs> um, but basically the whole point, the whole point of this, right? The whole point is that this whole Steam integration... Like the whole, like that, that whole push, I've been pushing for it. I'm sending documents, proposals, trying to help improve the community. Like people are like, oh, you're just hero some fucking asshole who's sucking up money. But I develop tools for the community. I make mods for the community. I try to get together mod projects for the community. And yes, I fucking tried to sue. I didn't try to. I threatened to sue a group of people who were really, really high on themselves and were just delusional and thought that they deserved some somehow uh, to take their work and then put donation buttons on it after we'd agreed not to do that. So I get shit about all this stuff because what? Because I'm, cause I'm a dick? Because I think I'm because I think I'm awesome? Because I am? Okay, I'm sorry that I'm not fucking amazing, but I push I pushed for the Steam integration. I put a whole document together about how it would affect the community and bring the community closer together. And this is like, I, I understand that Red had thought about this stuff, but like I really push for this stuff, right? I had a whole meeting with the development team about how modding needs to be the next thing that we help improve. Guess what? They're talking about the next thing being improving modding. I've been doing nothing but trying to help push the game towards a more healthier community that can build its own content and we can't rely on tools like Gamaki or T-Shock or, or uh, Tappy or any of these mods. We should have our own built-in platform into the game. And I've been doing this stuff 
for the longest time. I've been trying to push and help the community, but does it fucking matter? No. Because I was cocky one time. Because I thought I could take Ymir in some, <laughs> you know, uh, 1v1 in PvP in 1.1. By the way, I could have. In 1.1, I didn't have any memory problems. Nobody knows this, but I have a problem with my memory, like a real problem that I'm not going to talk about, that you guys don't need to know about, but there's a reason I can't remember shit. And there was a point, a time where I was really good, where I would play PvP and I would demolish people. There was a time when uh, Odyssey Games had PvP maps, right? They invented Capture the Gem. Odyssey Games did this. They played me three times in a row on a game they invented that they'd played hundreds of matches with, and I beat them all three times, right? They invented over ten different rules because of how how fucking genius I was at manipulating their rule system or uh, I, I, I took a house right I took our house and I built a mountain over it and then used grass seed to make it grow and made it look like it was just a regular mountain and they could never find our base <laughs> and they quit because they didn't know where our base was at and they kept digging into the ground and couldn't find it right so there was a point where I was really really good at this game is it right now no I fucking suck, man. I'm really bad at it. I can't remember how to craft things. And I had to put up with shit all the day about what? I, I controlled videos on a wiki that I made that, that was completely demolished by vandalism and, and spam videos. That I have to hear about that. I have to hear about how I threatened to sue some crybaby ass small dick fucking modders in the community who want to cry all the fucking time because I threatened to sue them after they wanted to donate buttons on everything for themselves and they wanted to argue in between themselves about who really did the most and who deserved the most money. I mean, that's the type of conversations we were having. So, you know what? So, you know what? I made an apology video. I'm sorry my stream sucked yesterday. I am not sorry that you're delusional and think that everything else I've ever done for the community doesn't fucking matter. I'm not sorry that you think that. I'm not fucking sorry that you think somehow that everything I've ever fucking done for this community or tried to do, it doesn't, that I don't deserve any credit because I make money on YouTube. I'm sorry, but I don't think that's the case. And you know what? It fucking sucks, because I have ruthlessly promoted other small channels. Chippy Gaming, I sat down and had a conversation with him, and I said, Hey, here's what you need to change on your videos to start being more successful. I said, you need to change these, this in your tags, this in your titles, and he grows. Ask him to tell you it's any different. Ask him to tell you any different. That I didn't sit down with him and try and help him grow his channel. Ask him. Ask Pedwin Games if I didn't sit down with him and have a conversation with him about how his tags, his thumbnails, what he needed to do, how he needed to also include other games into his stream because if this is the last Terraria patch, he needs to diversify his channel. I do nothing but try and help people in the community grow their channels and get involved with the community and uh, get better search results. I'm not some massive dick who's trying to outrank everybody. I want to be successful myself, yes, but I've been constantly, ruthlessly promoting other people like every single fucking person in the Terraria community is in the side of my sub bar on my channel Ymir, Chippy, uh, Odyssey Games, uh, Pedguin, uh, Demise, uh, Python GB they're all in my channel box all of them all my friends from E3, they're all there. I'm not some crazy asshole who just sitting around fucking ruthlessly. Ha 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 ha. I got rank one in Google on this topic. Ha 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 ha. I got rank two in Google on this topic. That's not who I am. That's not what I'm doing. That's not what I'm doing. So I don't know why you all think, you know, okay, well, because he's a competitive asshole. I guess he must never have done nothing good for the community ever. So I had to hear a thousand comments about kill myself. I made an apology for how fucked up my stream was yesterday. The first comment on the Reddit thread was, fuck you. The next, uh, the next minute later I refreshed it, plus three thumbs up. Great. Right? Okay. I'm sorry. I'm fucking sorry my stream had some issues yesterday. I'm sorry that I was the first stream, so it was really important that mine was supposed to be good and set up well, but the developers told me to go live two hours earlier than I thought I was going to go live, so, dude, I didn't have time to test any of my audio, so I was doing nothing but scrambling for two hours, and then after everything was finally fixed, we encountered some sort of thing where the queen bee wouldn't despawn, and then just fucking audio problems came back. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm sorry about that. 
I'm not sorry about everything else. I'm fucking awesome. I've done a lot of shit for this community, and I've constantly, ruthlessly tried to promote other small channels in the community, and I've constantly, ruthlessly tried to promote, uh tried to help the community and I've constantly tried to make tools I made the whole gamekey mod because the whole T-Shock team was being douchebags and saying that they weren't going to uh, update the mod unless they got paid and you could say oh that's not what they said yes it fucking is you didn't see Skype logs so don't give me this shit they did they wanted money for shit and I and guess what so I made the T-Shock mod completely for free I haven't asked Red for a single fucking dime this contest that I was running a thousand dollars of my own money that I was gonna run I was gonna ask him to match me so I could help the community out more okay so what I'm a competitive asshole but I w w what is this I'm tired of getting shit all the time about the dumbest shit in the world I'm fucking amazing I'm really fucking amazing I've done a lot of shit for this community and I'm tired of fucking hearing about it cuz a couple modders are fucking crybaby little cunts who wanna cry because I was gonna sue them for stealing work that wasn't part of their project cuz they feel like oh well I own that work shut the fuck up I spent a thousand dollars on the project I bought us servers I bought us uh, a premium Dropbox account that 12 people a team membership for Dropbox that I had to use for the next year that they they didn't even weren't even involved using because I had to sign a contract to get the discounted rate and cuz I just trusted these people so I spent over a thousand dollars on Dropbox servers uh, uh, and then a bunch of other stuff. I had uh, a professional coder develop an installer. I, I, I don't even know if it, a thousand's the minimum of what I spent on it. And then they want to take their code off somewhere else. Of course I'm going to fucking sue them. Of course I'm going to tell them, no, you can't fucking do that. So I have to hear about this all the time because I'm some fucking crazy asshole who's really competitive. What? Because I expected people not to take the work that they said was going to be part of a different project that they said it wasn't going to involve any donations? And then suddenly want, they want to get a ton of money? Right? Uh, I guess I'm fucking crazy. I'm just an asshole. Hero the asshole. Just unfucking real I'm fucking amazing. I've done a shit ton of stuff for this community. I ruthlessly and endlessly promote channels. And you know what? This sucks. Cause you know what today, I said to Pegwin last night, and this is this just the worst the part of all. This is why I'm upset. If everyone else was pissed off at me, but this didn't happen, I wouldn't be so upset. Me and Pegwins are me and Pegwin are friends. We ha we are. We just are, right? So, I said when I finished streaming, I would host him. My stream wasn't going well, and instead of leeching up all the views, I ended my stream early to host him. I sent 5,000 people over to him. I could have fixed the issues, and maybe by the time I'd fixed the issues, 4,000 people would be still be around. And then, you know, um, I'd be a little bit maybe more ahead of him because we'd beat the Queen Bee. But instead, and we had good weapons, instead I said, you know what? I'm just gonna pass the stream off to Pegwin because we're going to work together. Well, you know, and we had talked that we would rehost each other. We would rehost each other. So, um, that's just, you know, networking. Like, okay, well, let's host each other when we're done. Okay, so that's what we had talked about several times. And I was pretty sure that's what was happening. So, I ended the stream early to give him all the viewers because I felt my stream sucked. These people deserve a better stream. I gave him all those viewers because uh, two reasons. It's not just one. I wanted to help Pegwin. I've always wanted his channel to be successful. I mean, y I, you'd be an idiot if you said I haven't promoted his channel more than 50 times verbally through streams and YouTube. I've always tried to help him out because he's a nice person. He's a good guy, right? So by the time he gets done streaming, there's so much community hate, there's a huge reddit thread, there's endless, endless comments in the forum about what? My stream sucking? That I don't deserve? You shut the fuck up, I definitely deserved to be able to stream. I definitely deserved to be able to stream. So instead of rehosting me, yell somebody else, why? Because of community drama. People didn't want him to rehost me. 
I get that. I get it. It still fucking hurts. It hurts a fucking lot. I remember when he had like 5,000 subscribers and I was promoting his channel. I remember we did a Wall of Flesh video together. He's one of my best friends online. And so I come to the stream and I see some stupid ass fucking comment. That says, do you know Hero in real life? That does know. I don't know him in real life. I guess that's sort of true. I mean, it's not like we've had like a million fucking conversations. This is why I'm upset. Because community pressure is so bad, even people I love and care about and have done ruthless promotion for because I just like them. I think they're good people. Want to distance themselves from me. Because what? Because I sued a, because uh, I threatened to sue a fucking mob team because I'm competitive. Because I made a couple bad videos that you don't fucking like. You can suck my motherfucking dick. So even, and it's not even a big deal. Do I care about the views? Do I care about this money? No, I I've never been about the money. I want my channel to do well. I want to do well. I want people to see my content. I wanted to do well, but it was never a I, I look at the end of the sheet at the month and a ha ha I made fifty more dollars. I reinvest all the money I get back into tools and Terraria stuff. So the community pressure is that bad. One of my best friends in the community doesn't know me very well. Doesn't rehost me even though I'm online. And we talked about rehosting each other several times. Because the community's pressure is so bad, he's got to distance himself from me. You know, I just fucking hate this community sometimes. I've done so fucking much. And all people are going to know when this fucking game's done is I threaten to sue some modders who are being little silly selfish bitches. Fuck you, Wick. You little fucking cunt. You fucking crybaby little fucking cunts. You want some money so fucking bad, you want to tarnish my reputation endlessly because you're a selfish pile of shit who wants some extra money. So you non-stop non -stop talk shit about me, come to threads in anywhere I'm mentioned. You have to bring up the fact that I threatened to sue you. You're right, you fucking crybaby piece of shit. And then the other ten people who can't get their heads out of their ass because they're so fucking mad that I don't want you to take a project that I funded that I've spent a thousand dollars on and split off into another team all because you're mad over donations? Really? Or the wiki? Which I saved? I saved. You know, it wasn't just the videos that were fucked up. The whole wiki got shut down because of all the mass spam that was happening. So for several days straight, I spent editing it to get it up into up in the shape to be able to use for the new patch until the wikia staff reviewed it and found that enough of the spam and the bad links had been removed that they would come out come out wherever you are oh. 
Nuclear launch detected. Heroes of the Storm. Get it free at PlayHeroes.com and Ready T for Teen. You know what? I think I am better than you, Mir. I'm sorry, and I think even right now, I'm better than you, Mir. And you know what? People hate to hear that, but I don't think somebody who spends 40 hours making a video and making everything look perfect and hiding every single mistake and doing multiple takes and using a world that they've done multiple times um, or I don't even I'm not saying it's speed runs I mean like if he has a detonation that he's doing a million times or some special build that he's done I don't think that that's skill I think that's good quality editing and it's hard work and it should be recognized for that but I me saying you know I, I thought I could ever beat him was when I was talking about in PvP. We're not talking about making videos. Yermir would just destroy me if we had an editing contest. And if we did it right now, he'd kick my ass in the game too. He's been playing the beta for months. So now people have to, you know, they want me to eat crow. They give me shit. I have to see 10,000 comments. This just, this fucking patch. This fucking patch. <sighs> Endless amount of shit I have to get. For what? can't even take the chat out of sub mode because I have to see comment copy paste of comments about me going to kill myself. You know, just this fucking shit. done too much for the community for this to be some sort of thing where people pretend because of one bad stream or some other small incident that I haven't done like a million other things and haven't tried to help like a million other channels grow. <sighs> I am the fucking best. I've done a lot for this community. Am I rust? Yes. Do I have a bad memory? Yes. I had some medical problems that I'm not talking about with you. Yes. I'm not sorry about anything else I did. That's not what I apologize for. And I have apologized. I've apologized when I, w I shouldn't have in the past. It's ridiculous. Ridiculous. go. That's what I think about all of that. I think I've done a lot for the community. I think I've constantly tried to promote smaller channels and I've constantly tried to help them learn how to get better rankings. They're not the only one. I've had the same conversations with Odyssey Games. Pretty much anyone I come in contact to with, I will try to help get their game together on YouTube. I'll try and help them all the time. It's not about the money. I've always been trying to help the community. But uh, it's irrelevant. Just shit on so hard over very small things that even my best friends in the community will distance themselves from me. <laughs> Fuck. That's why I'm pissed off. And that's why I'm sad. <sighs> I 
I have four Skype messages, and I don't even want to open Skype, because I'm sure I know what they are. <sighs> Fucking greedy modders. I wanted money. Silly assholes who wanted access to the wiki because they were being greedy too. It's always down to greed and somehow I'm the greedy person. I've spent thousands of dollars on community tools and stuff. The only reason I added the donate button to the game wiki mod is because of how expensive it got to pay a professional coder to code it. <laughs> Oy. That's the only reason. I was like, oh man. This is costing a lot. I mean, overall cost is probably like, I don't even know what it is. It's gotta be a lot. This guy drops something special now, doesn't he? Oh, he does. Pink gel. That's why we added the donate button to the mod because it was literally, I mean the mod with everything that's been involved with it, the people that I've hired to help fix server stuff, the people I've hired to code the mod. I mean, it's $10,000 minimum that I've spent on it. Why? Because I wanted to make a good community tool because T-Shock was unreliable. Uh, it's ridiculous. So we went from 3,000 people to 6,000 people because they want to watch me burn. Crash and burn, lose my shit. Usually really good about not losing my shit, but holy shit. A thousand plus go kill yourself comments. Upload an apology for how bad the stream is and all it's about is the dumbest shit. Like, there was a, a thread about how I edited a page to promote my stream on the wiki, and that stream, I, I can't remember 100% sure, but I'm pretty sure the whole reason for that was even done was because we were trying to re promote the new build for the Reborn mod, and the special sword was supposed to be um, one of the mod swords, and it was like some sort of promotion thing. Uh, I'm pretty positive that's what it's for, and I these endless comments about how I'm just a dirtbag trying to promote myself and uh, I guess going forward I just won't I guess I won't work with anyone else in the community or anybody because there's no benefit to it because there's not even friendship Skype messages for every sent them. Just gonna close Skype.
There, Twitch alerts is back. And if I had a million dollars, if Stop I had money. a million dollars, well, I'd buy you an exotic pet, yep, <sighs> like a llama or an emu. And if I oh, is had a so million loud. dollars, if I sound had volume for donation alerts. Dude, you have done a heap for the community. It's just a circle jerk of faggots just trying to get you down. There are always going to be haters, just keep your chin up. Focus on all of us who still love you, and keep on streaming. Thanks, buddy. Thanks. Right. Okay. Okay, we were gonna go beat the eye, or the Eater Worlds, we have the right armor.